timing right, and the lifter has to be flexible as well. So, uh, Mamzabek uh, Shashimov coming in. The bar's gone to 169 now, so this is where we move up to a level where it gets a little bit serious, if not a lot more serious now. The world record, as you said, Randy, in the 85 kilo class, 187 by Andre Rybakov, and I agree with you, I don't think we're going to be hitting those highs, but this is all about winning the medal, right. and this first half is to set you up, it's to give you a platform from which to attack on the second half. Right, I think we'll see maybe 180 or something like that, though. I don't think we'll get the upper 180s, but I think we'll break into 180, 180 range. Just my guess. Well, if Marty Rossian is in the same form as his younger brother yesterday, I think he might be he might be really pushing in this first half. So Shashimov, Uzbekistan, second attempt, four kilos up. Notice, this is good. Yeah, notice his feet didn't move at all, front or back, after he completed lift. That means he really stuck the lift as far as being in the right groove. Didn't have to chase it, wasn't going behind him, wasn't left out in front. As heavy as the weight might be in the snatch, if it's done properly, it's going to look easy. Well, he's clearly well prepared and he's in a much better, you know, mind. And now Kashatrian. Now this is very interesting because he is really light at 83 kilo zero five, and uh, Ara Kashatrian, the European silver medalist of this season. I predict he's just going to attack this weight. Going through mental rehearsal there, he's visualizing the lift. That's what he was doing right before he grabs our hook grip. Fingers going around the thumb for added security. I sort of sense he's going to make this. Yeah, I think he's just going to rip this, is my guess. Uh, he came out looking like he was loaded for bear. And, you know, there's got to be some rivalry within the team. I mean, they're all team players. They want the team to benefit. But you got another guy, you know, in your bodyweight class. Absolutely. Uh, and again, here's another man who has moved up. So now all the big guns are coming out. Yeah, Lu Yong on 170, as predicted, as announced. Lu, who's 24 years of age, and now he posted a total of 390. So did Kashatrian. So on that alone you could sort of make them as joint favorites but this is the man who is the olympic champion and also the world champion and that's a good opener but believe it or not that only takes him to second place because kashatrian is significantly lighter hit a walk a bit with that nothing extreme and you could see he was happy to get on the board you know get one lift on the board you're already you've made a, a, a big step in the direction you'd like to go sure you'd like to get more good lifts but getting one is the critical thing and he does that on his first attempt snatched 180 at the olympics and 175 to worlds last year so this is Mr. Adrian Zelinski representing Poland, opening up on 170. Proving to be a popular weight for this group of lifters. And again, this would uh, take him up into silver medal position, push Lu Yong down into bronze. But still plenty of lifts to come out there. The, the poker hasn't really started quite yet. Well, he stuck that. Yeah, quiet and effective. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Understated, but boy, he put some smoke on this thing when he needed to. So, Alexei Yufkin, uh, the next man to be on stage. Uh, 
well, as a result of that little run of good lifts, uh, Alexei uh, Yufkin has been shuttled down to eighth place. This is a five kilo increase, weighed in at 84.68. So again, this would take him from eighth up into third place. And this is the fascination, Randy, two years out from the Olympics and you just sense that everybody's moving forward now. Right. Yeah, the long-term plan is to excel in London. Well, it wasn't pretty, uh, but he made it. You know, you don't get style points. The right knee's going to come way in as he's trying to adjust and trying to save, save this lift. But uh, he makes it, which is the important thing. Yeah, it was rough around the edges, but the strength was there. Yeah. It was just that the technique made it more difficult, though, the, the, the lack of perfect technique. Yeah, we need to hopefully really see his legs if we could uh, that replay. That's so light from over here. Look, we're seeing a lot of vibration there. So he's holding this weight over here. Now from one man who has not excelled to another man who's in real trouble. Now, we've already seen one man from this medal final group, Vladimir Kuznetsov, last year's bronze medalist, failed to get a valid snatch and therefore the possibility of a total and the same dilemma now facing Tigran Martirosian. He didn't total last year and now the horrible thought is that it might just happen again. And this 170 is well within his range. Looking back over the last uh, two or three years and third time and it's just not there chalk and cheese between the two brothers the younger brother the hero last night but I'm afraid it's zero for the older brother now Uh, Jufkin currently in third place. This, of course, of course, would put him into the gold medal position, and this is his third and final attempt. And again, it's a new mark, or would be a new mark, if successful. 20 seconds remaining on the countdown clock to get the bar moving. Arms almost at the extremities of the 20 kilo bar. Settles, drives up, and in fact, tidy up. Then the second one, and the new leader for Russia is Alexei Yufkin. European champion in Bucharest in 2009. Former junior world champion some four years ago. Junior European champion, I should say. He's Real achievements so far have been on the European stage as opposed to the world stage. Out of Lu Yong at 381, but a full minute in which to try and make this third attempt. And you just don't know, this might be this might be a very important lift because if either of the two men who follow him run into trouble then he may get an even better medal as it is if he does this he goes into gold and he's guaranteed a medal of one color or another and that's much better much better really seemed comfortable with Adam 173 very good lift three white lights no problem about that Speedy, explosive, precise. It was very much like the first attempt. Feed in line and up goes Zielinski of Poland into the gold medal position. And we have Kashatrian of Armenia and Lu Yong 
at 175 and it'll be the Armenian to go first. Alexei Yufkin in silver at the moment to take the gold medal. So the Armenian fans at the moment relatively subdued, but I think they might raise a noise if this is successful. Shadrian. Three white lights. Sam Copper, the president of the jury, nodding and satisfied with that. And the game is on. Zelinski pushed down into silver. And Lu Yong, the defending champion. Now, if Lu Yong goes for 175, then he's accepting that. This is the weight that he can achieve. He weighed in at 84.78. Kashatrian 83.05. So, Lu Yong looking at the bigger picture, the overall championship which he's looking to defend. And this would put him on terms with Kashatrian, but in the silver medal position. If he fails, Yufkin's going to get a medal, and he fails. And... The Armenians cheer, Lu Yong is down in fourth place, five kilos off the pace and the defending champion is in trouble here because Kashatrian of Armenia has taken the lead and the gold medal. Have a look at this, he was out in front, he didn't get that high enough, he didn't really stick it there at all and little bit of a surprise, although we have seen Chinese lifters, particularly in the men's division, coming up short this week. And uh, 